Hey, it's Darnell with D Grill YouTube channel. I've got a couple pizza pies I picked up from a local pizza shop. Uh, not as big a fan of Papa Murphy's as I am of some of the local pizza shops here in the Chattanooga area that make some good stuff. This one's from, these are from Loopy's, these two. This one's cheese. This other one has an oil base with some chicken, some bacon, some fried, some sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm going to be cooking these on the grill today on my Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. So outside here at the grill, it's in the low 40s. It's sleeting lightly. It's not going to get very heavy, but might be some rain later. And uh, I've got some apple wood chips in the smoke box. I've got a pizza stone in there. I'm going to light this up and preheat it for about 20 minutes. Then turn the middle burner down to halfway. Try and keep the temp at about 500 to 550 and should be able to heat these pizzas up um, maybe five to eight minutes each to kind of simulate a brick pizza oven so I'm just going to open up real quick and light it and then shut it back down because with the sleet coming down I don't want precipitation getting in my grill very much good thing is this does start fast so first burner second burner third burner they're all lit up be back in about 20 minutes to check the temp and then eventually get that pie on alright there's a pretty good sleet going but it's just about 500 degrees the smoker box is going I'm going to test the stone here with a little water test the water beads are yeah, you see how that water quickly evaporates, that means our stone is ready. So I'm going to go get the pie and put it on and then I'll drop the uh, middle one down probably to halfway to try and keep things from going over 500 too quickly. So I got my pizza on there now and my wood chips have caught fire so I've turned the side one down here halfway, left the others up, come back in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes dropping one burner down I try to turn it up a little bit again but I lost my uh, 500 I'm going to take a look though oh wow that's real bad I'm taking that off now second pizza is on I'm going to give this one just about six minutes and come back I've got all my dials turned up high I tried to get one of the pizzas off that pizza pan but uh, they're kind of stuck to it until after you cook it so I'm just cooking them with the pan, the pizza pie pan that they give you on the stove. Alright, it's been six minutes for the second pizza. I've got all my burners turned up to high. As you can see, the temp, oh, sorry about that. The temp hasn't even gone back to 500 on the thermometer yet, but I'm going to take a look and possibly pull this now, given what happened to that last one. This one looks pretty good. I'm going to give him another about three minutes, and, uh, well, maybe two minutes, and then come back and have another look at him. Another three minutes. I've still got everything on high, but that temp is having a hard time reaching 500. So it's been about nine minutes total, but I did crack it open once. So let's have a look now. That looks pretty good. I'm going to stop there. Yeah, I'm going to play it safe with this one, given what happened to that last one. Turn these burners off. So there you go. About six to nine minutes. Um, you know, perfect pizza. Simulated a pizza. Uh, brick oven there on the pizza stone. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Subscribe to the channel. D Grill on YouTube. And good eating.